Hi everyone. Jaden here. I'm an author at the Distinction Bound Student. In this video, I'm going to give you important definitions in our syllabus. I will arrange these definitions according to the way our topics follow one another. Our topics are circular flow, business cycles, public sector, international trade, dynamics of perfect markets, dynamics of imperfect markets, market failure, economic growth and development, industrial development policies, economic and social performance indicators, inflation, tourism, and finally, environmental sustainability. In this particular video, I will give you definitions of terms under circular flow. This video will definitely help you excel in Section A. A Section A covers 20% of your paper and it's all about knowing your terms. If I left out any key terms, please let us know in the comments section down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also click the notification bell for you to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Here at the Distinction Bound Student we believe our content is good enough to make you guys get distinctions. Cardin's vision when he started this company in 2014 was to influence many learners achieve distinctions. You can tell from the name of the brand. So without further ado, let's go get those distinctions. Circular flow is a model of the macroeconomy that shows how participants in an economy interact. A factor market is a market where factors of production are traded. A product market is a market where goods and services are traded. Money flow is the flow of income and expenditure between participants in an economy. Real flow is the flow of goods, services, and the four factors of production between participants in an economy. Factors of production is an economic term that describes the inputs used in the production of goods and services. Exports are tangible goods that are produced in one country and sold to another country or a service provided in one country for a national or resident of another country. Imports are goods and services produced outside the boundaries of one country, which are then purchased by that country. Tax is a compulsory payment made by individuals and companies to the government on the basis of certain well-established rules or criteria. Public goods and services are goods and services that are both non-excludable and non-rivalry. Non-rivalry is a characteristic of public goods and services which means that their consumption by one person does not diminish consumption by others. A good is non-excludable if it is impossible to exclude individuals from enjoying its benefits when the good is provided. In other words, it is impossible to exclude free riders. Saving is income not spent or deferred consumption. A market is a composition of systems, institutions, procedures, social relations or infrastructures whereby parties engage in exchange of goods and services. Injections are variables that add to the circular flow of income. Leakages are a diversion of funds from some iterative process which occurs when there is a withdrawal of money from the economy that results in the reduction of national income. Consumer goods are goods that are purchased for consumption by consumers to satisfy their needs and wants. Capital goods are goods that are not purchased for their own sake, but to produce other goods. Non-durable goods are goods that cannot be reused. Semi-durable goods are goods that only last for a short period of time but can be used more than once. Durable goods are goods that can last for more than a year because they do not wear out easily. Labor is the human input in the production process. Capital is the man-made physical goods used to produce other goods and services. Entrepreneurship is the process of bringing the other factors of production together in order to produce a product or service. A financial market is a market that consists of banks, insurance companies, pension funds, and the JSE. It channels funds from surplus units to deficit units in the economy. The money market is a market used by participants as a means for borrowing and lending in the short term, that is, from a few days to just less than three years. A capital markets is a financial market in which individuals add institutions trade financial securities in the long term, which is three years and above. A foreign exchange market is a market where one currency can be traded for another. Foreign exchange is an act of exchanging one currency for another. Exchange rate is the rate at which one currency can be exchanged for another. Foreign currency is money from a different country from yours. Currency refers to money, that which is used as a medium of exchange for goods and services. Syntax or excise duty is tax levied on demerit goods. Demerit goods are goods that are deemed to be harmful or undesirable. Merit goods are goods that are deemed to be good or desirable. Value-added tax or VAT is an indirect tax levied on the consumption of goods and services in the economy. Double counting is an error caused by counting the same value more than once. Intermediate goods are goods that are used in the production of other goods. A subsidy is a direct or indirect payment to individuals or firms, usually in the form of a cash payment from the government or targeted tax cut. 
Capital formation is the creation of additional physical assets or capital goods by the collective savings in the economy. GDP or gross domestic product is the total market value of all final goods and services produced within the borders of a country over a specific period of time. Usually over a year. Gross domestic expenditure or GDE is the total value of spending on final goods and services within the borders of a country. Gross domestic income provides us with a measure of the income earned by the factors of production in a country. Gross national income is a measure of income earned by citizens of a country. Gross national product is the total market value of all final goods and services produced by citizens of a country over a period of time. A multiplier refers to an economic factor that when applied, amplifies the effect of some other outcome. The multiplier effect is described as a situation when a small change in spending causes a disproportionate change in aggregate demand and hence in the level of aggregate income. Autonomous consumption is the portion of household spending which is independent of income. Induced consumption is consumption made with disposable income. Disposable income is the portion of income available to an income earner after all income taxes are deducted. The marginal propensity to save, MPS, is the proportion of aggregate increase in income that a consumer chooses to save, as opposed to spending it on goods and services. The marginal propensity to consume is a measure of the proportion of extra income that is spent on consumption. In other words, it is the portion of an increase in income that a consumer spends on the consumption of goods and services, as opposed to saving it. System of National Accounts, SNA, is the internationally agreed standard set of recommendations on how to compile national measures of economic activity. Aggregate is the sum or total of a given economic variable. A residual item is an item that is calculated or posted as the difference between two other items. We use it in national accounts to deal with any omissions or error. Consumption of fixed capital, or depreciation, is a deduction from income to account for the loss in capital goods in production. Net operation surplus is a profit-like measure that shows business income after subtracting the cost of compensation of employees, taxes on production and imports less subsidies, and consumption of fixed capital from value added, but before subtracting financial costs and business transfer payments. Basic prices are prices of goods and services before taxes and subsidies are put into consideration. Market prices are prices of goods and services after taxes are added and subsidies are subtracted. These are prices that will be paid by consumers. This brings us to the end of our lesson. Which term did you not understand? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, see you in the next video.